Good morning. It is day 14 of the build. And today we're getting involved with the plumbing. So we are going for a very complex plumbing system for this van. We're having two separate systems, one for the sink and then one for the shower. We're gonna have a recirculating shower. So in theory, we could take limitless showers. So I'm just trying to plan out now where I think we'll go to be the most efficient and save the most amount of space. Pretty much. <laughs> I have to install this before I can do any more talking because I'm kind of figuring this out as I go. So I don't want to tell you something that's completely wrong. I'm going to figure it out first, make all the mistakes, and then I'll walk you through the system and show you how you can put a recirculating shower in your travel rig. Hi everyone, so it's been probably, I don't know, like 10 hours since I last spoke to you. Today has been a whole lot of figuring out. So this is the beginnings of our plumbing system. Ooh. It was just a case of me putting everything in place and making it fit. So you don't realize like these filters are like 13, 14 inches big, they're just huge. It's huge for a van, but I knew Jay would figure it out because he always does, right Jay? Right, so with this kind of system here, the filters, UV filter, and the separate pump and accumulator, that's kind of the shower system, so that would just be recirculating, and then it will pull from the fresh tank when I tell it to, pretty much. Still in the works, but it's getting there. Okay, so now I've got that in, I think it's time to talk you through the plumbing system. Bear with me. Alright guys, Jay's about to do a lot of talking and I like to hear him talk, but if you don't, we'll link below in our description on our website. Jay put together a two-page document with all the parts lists and a diagram, so it's really helpful and if you want to just go directly to that, feel free. If not, we'll listen to him explain everything now. Start the timer. Okay. So in this compartment here, we have a 30 gallon water tank that is molded around the wheel well. I cut a little groove in, so I'll be able to see the water level. Probably should have cut it a bit lower. This pipe will get attached to the wall here, and then this is where the water will come in. Come in and fill up the tank. So then this pipe pulls water from the tank, goes through this little filter. This is our water pump. I'll go through the pump then the accumulator, the accumulator diaphragm in it, so it keeps the pressure consistent, which in turn makes the pump quieter and makes sure the pressure is constant throughout the system. The rest of the water then goes through, and it goes through these two KDF filters from the RV water filter store. So this acts as like our first barrier of defense. So once it passes through these filters, this is where it now separates. So now we're here, it'll come along here, Cold water will then go to the sink faucet, which goes into the wall and behind the shower to the sink faucet. Then the cold water will carry on, hits a T, so now it has a choice. The cold water then will go to feed the shower gray tank. That's part of our recirculating shower system. All the water will then go through this 12 volt valve all the way along here to feed the water heater. So then after the cold water goes to the water heater, which is right there, then it comes out the water heater, the hot side. So now we're on the red PEX tubing. So the hot water goes along here, up here, and then it has a choice. The hot can go to the sink faucet, which is this pipe here, or it can continue on to the shower, which is right here, the shower hot and the shower cold. So, when we want to take a shower, this is where our recirculating system comes in. When we want to take a shower, we hit these two switches. This switch will turn on the water heater and the UV filter. This switch will turn on the second water pump and close this valve. So let me explain in a bit further detail. So this pipe here is drilled through the floor and connects to the grey tank of the shower. 
This will then pull water up, and the first thing it hits is this sediment filter. So the water will go through this sediment filter, and this will filter out any big-ish particles like hair, fluff, dust, all that stuff. So once it hits the sediment filter, it'll keep going, goes through this other filter. I just put this in to protect the pump, but I don't think you really need this. I just put it in because it's like 10 bucks or whatever. So then it'll hit another 12 volt pump, same that was in the other system, so I've just mimicked it. So this is a 12 volt pump. It goes through the accumulator again, which keeps the pressure consistent, just has the diaphragm in there. And then it goes out of the accumulator, round hither, and then it goes into this, this really tiny tube. This tiny tube feeds this filter system. So the water will come in here, it hit one filter. So this one is five microns. Oh, they're all five microns. So I, I might change these filters out. But basically, it hits one filter, then goes to the next filter, the next filter, and then from here, it goes up into this UV filter. And then the UV filter basically just takes out any any bacteria, microbes, organisms, and stuff like that. I might get a bigger UV filter, but I haven't tested it out yet. But I can always replace this for a bigger one if I need to. So then it will leave the UV filter out of this tube. Then this connects to a cold. So then it hits a one-way valve, so water can now only travel this way. And then it has a choice. This water will then feed the shower. Goes up, feeds the shower valve or the cold water will go all the way along this back line and feed the water heater. So basically, the thing that makes this system possible is this 12 volt valve. So when you want a shower, you flick these two switches, that bottom 12 volt switch will close this valve. So with this closed, the water heater will now not get water from this pipe, which comes from the fresh tank, Instead, it will pull water from this pipe, which is coming from the gray water tank. Obviously, after it's gone through all these filters. So basically, this thing is what makes this whole system work. When you shower, you flick the switch, it closes this valve. That, in turn, ensures that the water heater is drawing water from the gray tank instead of your fresh tank. And then this is just a one-way valve. So when you're drawing water from your gray tank, it can't go back this way, it can only go this way. So I know there's a lot to take in there, and that was a lot of talking, but like what I did in my previous videos when I did the bus and I did the electrical system, watch the video, pause it, write it down, and when you draw your own diagram and like implement it into your space where you're gonna have all your filters laid out, it makes so much more sense. So it's kind of two systems, one system for the sink, and then one system for the shower, and then that 12 volt valve ensures that the two systems don't mix. And then there's a manual valve for when I wanna dump the gray tank of the shower and refill it with another five gallons of water. Hope that helps. Okay, so now the whole plumbing system is installed, obviously minus the gray tanks, but they're under the van. I now wanna work on building like a removable wall here so I can still get access to all my plumbing when I wanna change out filters and do regular maintenance. And then I have two ports that I wanna Add. So I have this, which is just a quick quick connect hose port. Um, it's pretty simple, you just push connect hose, so then we can spray down our bikes or rinse off our feet outside. And then also the gravity inlet port. I'm thinking I put the gravity one highest, of course, and then the quick connect hose lower. Then I also got this aluminium track. So it's just like, I think it's three eighths wide so then I can get a piece of quarter inch with like a protective mat on it. So I think if I mount the trap on the bottom surface here then I could have a pull out wall that would just pull in and out and that's the best way to do it. Let's get making. Okay that wraps up day 17. Let me turn you around and I'll show you today's progress. I am pumped. I'm pretty pumped too, not gonna lie. <laughs> get it? Pumped? Did you mean to do that? The pumped? I don't get it. Pump? Like water? Pump? Oh, uh, plumbing? Yeah. Yes, I did. Yes. <laughs> so, we got this whole side pretty much done-ish. So we have this panel which hides all of our plumbing right behind there so I can get access to it to change the filters. The panel just slides in and out. Then covered all the back area in this like utility mat. Used contact cement to put all of this on. So pretty much wrapped like the whole floor. And then here's where all our electrical will be. So I'll do the same thing on this side. 
Also got this side panel up, so this whole area is now boxed in. So this is pretty much ready to paint this whole side. Ready for Kelsey, for the cleanup crew. Yep. 